little-known tricks for perfect airplane sleep. People who can easily fall asleep on a plane are among the lucky few because most of us aren't able to doze off in a cramped space, sitting in such an uncomfortable position and surrounded by total strangers. What if we told you there are some simple tricks that can help you catch some Zs on board? Who knew that flying on a Tuesday or keeping your seatbelt fastened could actually make a difference? 10. Night is the best time for a flight It's great if you can pick a flight for the time you usually sleep at. Wake up two to three hours earlier on the day of your flight to help you fall asleep faster on board later on. Also, get to the airport a couple hours in advance and even earlier for international flights from larger airports. It'll allow you to avoid the unnecessary stress of waiting in line to check in and rushing through security. Save yourself the trouble of feeling like you're running late. Plus, you'll have enough time to do everything you normally do before going to bed. Want to brush your teeth? No problem, you have time for that. Do you normally read before you fall asleep? You can do that before you get on the plane as well. This will trick your body into thinking it's just another regular day, and taking your seat on the plane will feel like sliding into bed all ready for a good night's sleep. 9. The best days to fly are Tuesdays and Wednesdays Do you like it when the plane is overcrowded and you've got a crying kid on one side of you and a loud, obnoxious football fan on the other? Did you say yes? Oh, okay then, you can just ignore this one. For everyone else, here's a hint. If you want fewer passengers and more space, pick the most unpopular days for booking flights, Tuesdays and Wednesdays as a rule. You might even get up to three seats to yourself. Ugh, those are my favorite travel moments. And even if you're not that lucky, there's a good chance the flight crew will kindly let you take a seat further from noisy passengers. Traveling in this bliss is unlikely to happen on a Friday or any days before holidays since those are the most fully loaded flights. 8. The perfect seat is by the window Always try to pick a window seat to rest your head on the wall and not be bothered by your neighbor wanting to get up to go to the bathroom. If you normally sleep on your left side, aim for seat A. If your right side is your preferred sleeping position, pick the window seat on the opposite side of the plane. Now, here's a fun fact. British airline EasyJet says the most popular seat among all passengers is 7F. I guess it's got something to do with luck for all those superstitious travelers out there. Hey, better safe than sorry. However, if you want to be in a quiet place, it's a good idea to avoid the front part of the plane and the seats near the compartment wall. I know the abundance of leg space is tempting, but these seats are commonly reserved by families with infants. A bathroom seat isn't a good option either. If you want to be in the most stable part of the plane, pick the seats over the wings. Keep all of this in mind when booking tickets that have a seat pre-selection option, checking in online, or describing your preferences at the airport check-in desk. 7. Tilt your seat back to the max If you want good quality sleep in the cabin, adjust your seat as far back as it'll go. Just make sure the person behind you doesn't mind. Hours of sitting at a right angle can cause pain in your waist and lower back, and sleeping with your head on the food tray or on the back of the seat in front of you is bad for your neck and spine. Plus, it's not very polite to the person sitting in that seat in front of you. You might not realize it, but you're pushing their seat forward when you're leaning against it. So try to get the ideal angle of 135 degrees to minimize the pressure on your spinal discs. You can also rest your legs on your carry-on or place the little pillow they give you under your knees. 6. Clothes should be warm and comfortable We know you always want to look your best, especially if you're traveling for business and expecting an airport pickup from potential partners upon arrival. However, to have a sound nap on board, you should wear loose clothes made of natural materials that don't constrict your movements. If your airline doesn't provide blankets, take a jacket and warm socks, too. It gets pretty cold in the cabin, and that makes it hard to fall asleep. Oh, and one more thing. Please, please, please do not wear adult footy jammies. Leave those things at home. Not everyone deserves to see them, you know. And if you have to look professional upon arrival, carry a suit with you and change into it after landing safely. 5. Fasten your seatbelt over your clothes But wait, didn't the previous point say not to wear clothes that constrict your movements? Isn't that exactly what a seatbelt does? It's okay, I hear you loud and clear. Let me explain. You're right, a seatbelt fastened over your clothes or blanket won't make your sleep more comfortable, 
but it will prevent flight attendants from waking you up if the plane experiences turbulence. It's especially important for those who not only find it hard to fall asleep, but also can't get back to sleep after being interrupted. Imagine finally falling asleep after hours of trying, just to be woken up an hour or two later to make sure you're buckled up. 4. Get yourself some sleeping accessories. Light and noise are the main culprits that keep you from getting needed shut-eye. So this answer might be obvious. Use a sleeping mask and earplugs. You'll also need proper neck support to relax your muscles, since they can't really rest if they're busy holding your head up. Taking a travel pillow with you is a great way to get this necessary neck support. If you don't have one, use a rolled-up scarf or a sweatshirt. Some airlines provide polyester blankets, but those are far from being ideal if you want real comfort, which equals good sleep. For a longer flight, bring your own blanket with you. If it sounds like too much to carry, experiment with a wool scarf. 3. Control the scents around you We all love the scent of a fresh, clean pillow. It makes falling asleep something you dream of for most of the day. Or is it just me who can't wait to get home and cuddle up with my pillow? Vanilla and oranges also smell really good. What about burgers and sweaty legs? Ooh, not so much. The good news is that you can control the scents in your immediate surroundings. Now, we're not suggesting that you push your neighbor out of the plane. Just sprinkle the headrest of your travel pillow with some lavender oil or any other essential oil you like. Spraying it with your favorite perfume can also do the trick, as long as you don't add too much of it. By the way, if you want to know where the safest seats on planes, trains, and other means of transport are, check out this video. It seriously changed how I choose my seats now. 2. Put your gadgets away Don't watch movies on your phone, tablet, or laptop, because the blue light of the screen wakes your brain up. Most sleep experts say you should put away all your electronics at least half an hour, or better yet, an hour before you plan on dozing off. Take a proper book instead, and opt for a boring one at that. It'll help you fall asleep faster. It also won't hurt to listen to calming sounds like birds singing or rain falling. What can be better than the sound of a light breeze? It'll calm your brain down instead of activating it like electronic screens do. 1. Food and drinks Chicken or fish? Fish or chicken? Ah, the endless choices of airplane food. You can have either of those, but not too much of it. If you want to be fast asleep, don't overeat on board. The food should be light and healthy, while the best drink option is tea. The herbal variety is perfect, or just plain water. Forget about coffee or alcohol, the latter of which might calm you down, but it ruins your quality of sleep. You'll most likely wake up a couple hours later feeling groggy and with a dry mouth. The kind of sleep you get after consuming alcohol isn't exactly restorative. Also, as much as you want to try all the cool exotic foods from the airport food court before takeoff, don't do it. Stick with what you normally eat so that you won't upset your stomach too much. Have your own tricks to share? The comment section is all yours to speak up. Give this video a like if you found it useful and click subscribe. Life is better on the bright side.